Greetings, warriors of light, of the new earth dawning. Another night and day of intense waves and activations. There were multiple beams of white columns this morning on the Schumann Resonance Chart. Today, the 28th at 8 UTC. And once again at 1 to UTC, there was an opening with a series of movements that lasted about 20 minutes that reached power of 34 hertz, followed again by a period of minor changes until 5 to 7 UTC with the power of 47 at 7.30 UTC. And then from 9 to 10 UTC was the most intense part of the day with a 54 Hertz amplitude than different variations through the day today. We also had a massive quake today, a mega quake in the Caribbean between Jamaica and Cuba, a 7.7, 7, 77 energy. This was one of the largest ever recorded in that area. And it was reported that people felt this as far away as Miami. And I felt this today through the vessel, the physical vessel, through the spine, and waves flowing through the body, and also coming in last night and through the day, through the night and day chills throughout my body, especially the spine and then down my back and arms as these activations were coming in. We're feeling this in many ways, but we know we're right at the tipping point, final phase before the final event waves we also had multiple earthquakes today in the Cayman Islands, 4.4. There were three 4.4s right in a row four hours ago. 4.4 uh, .4 in Chile, 5.3 in Japan. Puerto Rico also had multiple 3.2, 3.5, and then more in the Cayman Islands two hours ago. This is about 9.50 p.m. And then about a half hour ago, another 4.4 in the Cayman. And then about 20 minutes ago, 4.0 in Bolivia. So a lot of this through the Central and South America. We're feeling this as Gaia Kundalini fully activated through this ascension process. Today's first cha transmission, channeled by Michael Love, Pleiadian Light Forces transmission. The event, powerful transformation underway on Earth for immediate planetary broadcast to the star seeds of Earth. Prelude. The Pleiadians have always been here to trigger the star seeds of Earth at just the right moment. We are good reminders and we always come to tap you on the shoulder if need be. The main point we want to make here is focus and don't forget what you are doing. We came to bring hope to this world and to shine a light in the dark. You are a magnificent being of light, and you are here on Earth holding positive energetic space on behalf of all of humanity. Now let us continue our great mission here on planet Earth. Godspeed to all great beings of light. Begin transmission. Dear ones, as the great evolution of human consciousness draws near, planet Earth is in the midst of a powerful transformation. A time of incredible change has come to the Earth. As you are aware, since the planetary mass meditations of 1-12-2020, and since the recent major timeline shift, energetic activity levels are in an accelerated state on the surface of planet Earth. Change and heightened activity are occurring on every front as light forces recently broke through the old dark 3D control matrix that has gripped this world for eons. Exactly four Earth days ago, the Councils of Light gave the green light go to the leaders of light stationed on the surface to engage the final phase of Special Operation Storm. What is Operation Storm? Operation Storm was designed by the Galactics three Earth years ago for the purpose of completely removing all arcanic dark controlling forces from the surface of planet Earth. This mission has now entered its final phase. Who are the leaders of light? The leaders of light are the light beings stationed in powerful, strategic, and influential positions all around the globe. They were put in place by the galactics to help bring forth positive change on planet Earth. These leaders of light blend in with normal human society and work from the inside out to affect change. 
The leaders of light work with the galactics and are here for the great purpose of triggering the full liberation of planet Earth. It's important to say here that the mission of these light beings cannot be thwarted as it is a universal level mission and in fact their grand mission has already been an overwhelming success as we move further into Earth year 2020. Many of you are among these leaders of light. The Earth Alliance reports this week that as part of this final storm mission, the leaders of light along with the special Delta Security First forces were directed to perform the final clearing of all dark forces in this realm and to orchestrate a massive cleanup of low vibe 3D and 4D astral debris on the surface in preparations for the imminent event culmination of Earth year 2020. You are going to see incredible changes in Earth's leadership and guidance in the coming weeks and months as the remaining 1% of these harmful and controlling dark beings are completely removed from powerful positions and replaced by benevolent leaders of light. When light forces initiated the final storm mission four Earth days ago, a great light shined on the Earth and the darkness saw it. The darkness was greatly exposed and it reared its ugly head and growled for the last time, we assure you. The Pleiadians say, think of it like this. When light shines on dark things, you can see the dark things better, and the dark things always react to the light in a powerful way. When the light shines, the darkness may have a brief, dramatic reaction, but it has no power over the light and it has no other choice than to flee. The darkness cannot be where the light is. The vibration on earth has reached a level now where darkness cannot continue to exist in this realm. It is fleeing fast, dear one, and the old Anunnaki powers that were have completely lost their grip on this world. There is a divine plan working behind the scenes right now on earth, and we simply say trust the plan. The leaders of light are prevailing and will continue to prevail. There is incredible positive change happening in this cosmos and on planet earth and nothing can stop it. The great seers and prophets of old have said an incredible time was coming on earth when great change would occur. That time is now, great one. Dear one, we want you to begin to see the extreme change that occurring on earth from a higher perspective. You must remember that two different dimensions are clashing with each other which creates some chaos. As galactic operations move forward and as major change occurs on the surface, a bit of chaos is the natural result as one system is replaced by a new and better one that has the best interests of all of humanity in mind. The excited energy levels currently on earth are simply the natural result of change and eternal change is the only universal constant. What is important here is that things are finally changing for the better. No matter what is still perceived in the outer world, this is simply the remnants of what was. A new positive 5D timeline is fully in place now and a new world is being created here where peace and harmony prevail and where all of mankind is abundant, healthy, and free. Pleiadian counsels to the light beings on the surface. The Pleiadians call on all the light beings of Earth to now return their focus to 5D Earth and again only giving energy to positive, beautiful things continuing to raise the vibration of Earth. Do you see... What is happening here? This is all we need to say. Yes, you do. Now do what you know how to do. We are here to remind you that you are the creator of your world. You create what you see, so stop seeing what you do not wish to see. Stop looking at it. Stop talking about it. Stop watching it. Stop thinking about it. Stop fearing it. Stop broadcasting it. Stop resisting it and fighting it. Change. Focus. This is the real change. We are not naive, and yes, we know that we all must be aware of things. However, now that you are aware of it, keep it in the back of your mind and simply change your focus. It is what it is, now where is your focus? Know that all is well as it should be in the grand scheme of things. Have a bit of faith that things are working out for your good and that a new world is dawning for all of humanity. We are here to assure you that things really are getting better and will continue to get better as we move forward. You are the great observer and a master creator being, and we say, be the master that you are. Big changes are indeed happening on earth, and there is absolutely nothing to fear in all of it. 
The great awakening is well underway, great one, and a new earth and an amazing new day for humankind is dawning. Steady as we go and shine your light now brighter than ever. We speak great peace and love tonight to all the beings of planet Earth. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5DEarthProject.com And today from the Gene Keys Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA by Richard Rudd. The current world theme, Gene Key 19, Codependence, Sensitivity, and Sacrifice. For January 8th through February 2nd, 2020, Gene Key 19. In the dream arc system, every fear has a name, and every underworld creature represents a specific fear. The 19th Gene Key is the fear of feelings. Its symbol is the tarantula. I used to have a tarantula many moons ago as a pet. Her name was Morticia. My little furry buddy Morticia. She's in the higher realms now. For such a relatively harmless creature, the tarantula has been a favorite target of the media and cinema as a totem, representing a deep human fear. This fear is the fear of being physically touched by the creatures of the underworld. The human fear of having a tarantula crawl across one's body is especially poignant in societies that have lost touch with the wilderness experience. The process of meeting such fears is all about opening up one's deep sensitivity to others and to all beings. The tarantula itself has very poor eyes but an incredible heightened sense of touch through its body here. Much of this key is about the fear of nature, of sexuality, and of being emotionally hurt. The more one closes down one's feelings from others, the more powerful we allow fear to become deep within our unconscious. The tarantula represents a portal between the human realms and the other natural kingdoms, and embracing the deep fear of being touched by our fears can open up a deep cellular memory within us of our inherent unity with all creatures. This is an excerpt from the Dream Arc Totem Codec, currently unpublished and coming in 2021. The magical hologenic or hologenetic gene keys geometry the cd sacrifice 19 is unified to bliss 58 the gift sensitivity 19 is orienting to to vitality 58 the shadow codependence 19 is dislocated to satisfaction 58 this week gene keys 19 2 and 58 are interwoven through the 19th G key, you can see how each level of frequency has to transcend itself entirely. Once humans overcome their codependence on outside agencies, they finally achieve independence. Likewise, once they attain independence, then they have to take another great leap. They have to give up their hard-earned independence and trust in the totality itself. And from the Yi Ching, the Book of Change, Yi Ching 19, Approach, Nourished, by the underground lake, orienting oneself back to the eternal spring of vital life force within, receiving elation. The superior man is inexhaustible in his instruction and unflagging in his nourishing support of the people. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 200, Yellow Overtone Sun. Overtone is the name for the number five, and its key words are empower, radiance, and command. The fifth day of a wave spell adds tremendous power to which every day it falls on. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. When the yellow sun happens on an overtone day, we are empowered by enlightenment. This is one of the most profound days in the Zolkin. Expect light bulbs to appear over your head. Revelations, insights, and good ideas seem to pop out of nowhere. Make the most of it. These revelations will have long-lasting effect. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Overtone Sun, Kin 200, 28 January 2020. The 222 energies coming in, preparing us for the full month next month of february of every day at 222 today 28 1 2020 10 1 22 11 22 gate equal 2 4 equal 6 28 success planning for the future 10 manifestation power leadership 1 new beginnings 
6. Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Family, Kin, 200, equal to, Partnership, Cooperation, Polarity, 0. Source, Power, a very holy, divinely spiritual gateway today, a day to shine as bright as the sun. Day 5 in the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell of fearlessly questioning everything in their path with a profound intelligence, disabling the old paradigm and fully focused on forging a new path to a brave new world. Today we find the courage to fearlessly shine our light, creatively, allowing it to radiate as we empower our independent missions. Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. Today we are empowering our divine missions through claiming our sovereignty. The sparkles that are received as we honor ourselves as sovereign light beings fills us with the grace that we feel. Now that we have the courage to shine, the harmony of the source that we are, the sun shines upon us as the utmost beauty elegantly on the mission rating radiated to us by the source. Today's question is, am I ready to fearlessly illuminate my true core essence as I empower my divine mission? What a glory-filled day to be alive on planet Earth. Now is the time to fully align with what we are here for, how we serve the divine to truly step up and give our gifts to birth the new Earth and the new time. Thus, we are gifted once again with a very divinely spiritual day supporting us to ignite our light, step up and truly shine very, very, very brightly. Today as we awaken to our full remembrance of who we truly are, golden, solar, Christed humans. Divine blessings for a radiantly empowering day. Enjoy the radiant sun. Kin 200, yellow overtone sun. The mantra, the code for today is... I empower in order to enlighten, commanding life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of elegance. And with this elegance and grace, we manifest our true heart's desire through our love, through our compassion, and through our great beauty as divine co-creators of new earth, emanation we are the emanating light beings that came here for this final mission to assist the collective consciousness through this great ascension this great awakening yesterday after recording my transmission driving home from 1010 coming through 1010 energies 3773 heaven on earth the 1010 portal into the 1111 and the 1212 as I was driving home, yesterday being Kin 199, about a third of the way home, as I drove behind a vehicle, it's license plate 199, space AB, and then another letter, so it was three numbers, three letters, the 33, also 33 and 333 coming through. So I, I followed this car, I was behind it, it was following the same path that I was taking home, and as the car turned down the street that I'm living on, I saw that the plate was from Kansas. And I laughed to myself because many people are coming to me questioning what's going on in this realm. I say all the time that we are not in Kansas anymore or that we are in the wild, wild west. And, this, and then the car pulled in a driveway just down the street from myself, which I've never seen this car before, but it probably was a visitor from the land of Oz. So the symbol, when we think of that movie, Wizard of Oz, the beginning where she was in Kansas and it was black and white and very mundane and simple life. And then when the shift happened, the, the 
illuminating colors and lights and the fantastical realm that she ended up in, like Wonderland. When I was a child, very young, maybe five or six, when we'd watch some of these old shows and movies that were in black and white and I would see pictures, old pictures in black and white, I used to think that the past was black and white. Like people only saw black and white. Until I, obviously as I got older I realized that these were just images, just like the simulation we're living in, we're experiencing these images, but we're in technicolor. So the symbolism of going from that black and white, it was like... It reminds me of a movie out years ago called Pleasantville where a gentleman goes into an old TV show or something where it was in black and white and that the world actually was in black and white. And then through the movie, it uh, ultimately, as they brought the consciousness from our technicolor world into theirs, it started shifting into color. So it's almost as if, you know, this old, dark, kind of black and white duality world as we're going through this great awakening these technicolors and these more vivid intense colors are coming through kind of like in the dream world when you become lucid in a dream you realize everything becomes much more vivid and more three-dimensional more intense everything is enhanced in unbelievable ways so these are just some signs and symbols of what is coming through this great awakening so let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below this video, what you're experiencing through these great shifts, activations, downloads, awakenings, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, what you see for the new earth, what you'd like to see. So thank you for joining us today. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the subscribe button below the video and the little bell next to subscribe for notifications on future uploads and we'll notify you on future downloads so have a beautiful and blessed day beloved beings of light i love you all namaste